Welcome to Unibear Group of Schools. This is our e-learning platform for Primary 3. Dear parents, if you wish to pause this video during the course of this lesson to enable your child copy the content on the lesson or to view the pictures very well, please pause the video for the benefit of your child. The subject today is vocational studies and we'll be treating the topic fish farming. Fish farming is the raising of fish for personal consumption or for the purpose of business. For consumption, we mean you raise a fish in your in your farm. When they are matured, you 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 feed you feed from them. You eat them. You use them to prepare your meals, your stew, and you don't have you won't have any reason to visit the market to buy fishes anymore. For the purpose of business, you raise the fishes in your farm, and when they are matured, you sell them in the open market. You make money from them. You make profits from them, and use the money and the profits you make from them to solve other problems or to reinvest into the business to to rear another batch of fishes. Fish farming is a branch of agriculture called fishery and it's a very lucrative business you can do. You can start as a family, you can start by rearing 20 fishes, 30 fishes, 10 fishes for a start and you understand the business from there and then you know what next to do. Fishes are a very good source of protein, just like we have the cow, we have the goat, we have other sources of meat that are also what sources of what protein. To go into fish farming you need you need a pond. A pond is a very important thing you must have as a, as, a, as, as a new beginner thinking of going into fish farming. There are three categories of fish farm, uh, fish, uh, fish, fish ponds. We have the block and concrete ponds. We have the natural ponds in the soil. We have the plastic material ponds. In the picture here, you have um, the upper picture, you have the ponds made from concrete. The one below is a pond, is a pond made from natural soil. Here, this, the farmer has to dig the soil and find water into the soil into the hole he has dug then put his fishes into the hole and the fishes most times fend for themselves you don't have to feed them all the time these are plastic these are ponds made from plastics as you can see on the screen they are made from tarpaulins they are made from drums they are made from any kind of materials plastic just these are used just in case you don't have spaces in your compound for other methods of ponds fishes when they are well fed when you feed them well until they get to mature stage, at, mat at, at mature age and stage, they, they lay eggs. And when the eggs are hatched, the eggs, they produce young, young fishes, which we call the fry. As they grow up into weeks, week one, week two, week three, and the rest of them, they are called fingerlings. And that is the one you need to buy when you want to start your fish farming. You start, you buy fishes at fingerling stage, okay? Most people prefer to go into fish into fish farming, having their pond and all that. Some people prefer to go to the rivers to catch their fishes. Like you see a young boy like you here, he has his fish on his on his right hand and has his hook on his left hand. So you can also go fish hunting with your dad or your mom. If you have rivers around you, it's something you, you should practice how to go for fish farming, uh, fish hunting. It's going to teach you the act of patience. All right. Then we have tools we can use for fish to catch fishes in rivers or in our ponds. We have the fishing net, we have the fishing hook, we have the fishing basket. We, other, we have other, other means and other ways we using we can catch our fishes from the ponds or from the rivers. So you read your textbook, you'll see more of them there. We have the catfish. The catfish is the most popular type of cat, uh, fish we rear in Nigeria and uh, domestically. We have um, there are several types of catfish. On the screen here, you're going to see we have the channel catfish, we have the blue catfish, we have the white catfish, we have the flathead catfish, we have the brown bull catfish, we have the yellow bull catfish, we have the flat, um, the black bull catfish. These are different types of catfish that you can use in starting your business. Before you select a catfish to rear, you must also do your research to be sure that the catfish can survive in your area. You can visit other fish farmers and ask questions, learn from them before you start so you don't make mistakes on your own. We have uh, we have two categories of fishes. We have the freshwater fish and we have the saltwater fish. The, the freshwater fish are fishes that can survive in fresh water. And saltwater fishes are fishes that can survive only in salt water. And salt water we mean are uh, uh, water from the ocean, ocean waters and, and deep sea waters. Those are fishes that can only survive there. So uh, as in Nigeria, if you want to start your, your business, you, you can only rare fishes that can survive where? In fresh water. These are all different types of, of fishes made by God 
all in all found in the rivers or in the ocean so you do your research know the one that is fresh water before you can start rearing it okay we have come to the end of this lesson we hope you enjoy the lesson in the picture here you see a fish farmer in nigeria who is carrying his big size giant size catfish this probably this cartridge must have stayed with him for over a year 12 months or thereabouts this uh, this one is now matured for laying eggs and all that so you can start your business it's a good business to start behind him you see other ponds probably he has fishes still in or every one of them there so you have these activities please go through them label um, name three importance of fish to man number two draw and label a fish okay We've come to the end of the lesson. We hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please, if you have any questions, suggestions, or inquiries, please call the numbers on your screen. Thank you very much. Stay home, stay safe, and take care of yourselves.